Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. There is, there is a feature on the new Insta360 Ace Pro that I, I really think is being slept on. No one's talking about it, not even me. I have not mentioned this feature in the first two videos that I've made about this camera. And it's a feature that I think would take this camera from just being like a killer action camera, a good vlog camera, and actually turn it into something that you could use in your everyday life. And today I'm gonna I'm gonna try to set it up like that for me and and we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll test it out, and if it's awesome. Uh, maybe you could do this also with the Ace Pro. Let me let me show you like the setup. Then I'll go test it, and then we'll we'll figure out the results. We'll see if if this idea or this feature is as good as I think it is in my head. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. The Ace Pro has a, a feature in the settings that's called power off charging. I swipe down from the top, go over, go into the settings, scroll down just a little bit power off charging. And in there I have three options, charge only, charge and power on, and charge and record. And what these settings are telling you is what do you want to happen when you plug this camera in to power? Do you want it to just charge? Do you want it to charge and turn on? Or do you want it to charge, turn on, and start recording immediately? And that last feature, that last feature is very, very useful. Because what other cameras turn on and start recording right away? Dash cams. This is basically a dash cam feature for your action camera. But the concept being that you will mount this Ace Pro in your windshield, plug it in via USB-C power, plug it into your cigarette lighter, and when you turn the car on, the camera will turn on and begin recording right away. And in that same menu, if I scroll down, I can see my recording settings. Now one is stop recording when power source is disconnected. So when I turn the car off, my camera will go to sleep. The other below that is shooting mode specifications and shooting parameters. Okay, let's go into shooting mode real quick and I'm gonna choose loop recording so that when I turn on the camera, it's gonna do a, a loop for as long as it's running. Now, if I go down one more to that specifications, 4K 60, that's gonna give us the sharpest image. Like if I have to freeze this video later and try to spot a license plate or see something that happened, I want it in 4K 60. And then up in the upper right hand corner, loop duration. I tap in there and I have a bunch of different options from all the way from one minute all the way up to all the way up to 30 minutes. And what that's going to do is allow me to have a video file where if a crash happens or something happens and I go, oh, I want to I want to replay that like some car swerved in front of me and I'm like, oh, I've got to get that video. I hit stop and I will have from the moment I hit stop 30 minutes before that moment. So a dash cam shooting at 4K 60 on a 30 minute loop, so you never have to swap out the SD card that I can uh, just magnetically pop up there when I want it and then magnetically pop it off when I don't want it. That That's pretty clever. Okay, we gotta get this thing mounted, get it hooked up, and then, and then we'll get going with this. Okay, to mount this camera into my windshield, this kind of dual ball magic arm thing, I can hook onto here. I can then take one of the Insta360 quick release plates that is mounted to one of the Falcam action camera plates. I can mount that on here and boom, now I can just take my Ace Pro, pop it off of this mount, again, magnetically, pop it onto this mount and uh, we got ourselves a little system. Just gotta get it mounted up here. All right, so I'm gonna get this thing kind of up as high as I can so it's out of my, my field of view and pump up this Falcam suction mount. That will lock it in place. And then there's just this kind of one little bit that I'm gonna turn on the Falcam quick release that releases both ball heads. And now I can move the camera and get it in position. I'm gonna kind of make it nice and high. I'll turn the camera on so I can see, get it lined up so it looks just like a super wide angle dash cam. Okay, that is that is set in place. That is all I have to do for setup. And now I'm going to run a USB-C cable, a USB-C cable from the camera to my car. Now, if you were setting this up in like more of a permanent setup, you'd want to plug this in and like, you know, run it up into the, the top lining, kind of tuck it all in, make this a, a clean setup like you would with a dash cam. Today, I'm just, we're just testing this feature out. Okay, I have it hooked up to my car via USB-C and I have the camera mounted in my windshield. In theory, I should turn my car on and when I do, as soon as it gets any power, this camera should turn on and begin recording at 4K 60 and a 30 minute loop. Give it the power. 
<laughs> there it goes. It's filming in a loop and it is my, this is now my dash cam that I can cruise around with if I'm on a road trip or I'm just cruising around town. Use this as my dash cam. If anything were to happen to me, as soon as I hit stop, I will capture the last 30 minutes from the moment that, that I actually hit the stop button. That is killer. Like I've always wanted a dash cam, but the dash cams out there are like terrible. And this is a dash cam that I can use as a dash cam when I'm in the car, but then, um, you know, just magnetically detach it, pop it back onto my, my action mount and run around with it as an action camera. So my action camera that I can use for action, but then I can use it on the daily uh, mounted in my car. Now, when I take the key out of my car, it should turn off and uh, there it is, processing video. But in theory, you set this thing and you forget it. It is your dash cam. Um, what's it look like as a dash cam? Let's, uh, let's go find out. Before I jump into the footage from the Ace Pro as a dash cam, let me take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If somehow you don't know about Squarespace, they're the all-in-one website building platform that I have used for over a decade. Back in 2012 is when I first switched to Squarespace, and even back then it was super simple to go in there, build a professionally looking website uh, from a person that doesn't know how to build websites. I'm a photographer, I make photos and video. I don't know a dang thing about building websites, but I have a an amazing looking website because of Squarespace. All I did was go in there and download one of their professionally designed templates, swap in my info for their info, swap in my images for their images, and in just a few hours, I had a very good looking website. And that was years ago when I first designed my website, and now they have something called their Fluid Engine Design System that just makes your websites basically just drag and drop, make it exactly how you want it, um, all through Squarespace. And the best part is it not only is it easy to design, but it's easy to maintain because Squarespace takes care of all that web mumbo jumbo stuff that I just don't understand. My job is to take photos, not to not to understand web stuff. So whether you're like me and you want a website as a portfolio so that you can show prospective clients your work, or you're someone that wants to book appointments, you wanna run a blog or an e-commerce website, you can do all that through Squarespace. We're coming for the new year and it is time for you to launch that side project or take your business's website to the next level. Shoot to the first thing in the description, go to squarespace.com, use code David Manning for 10% off at checkout out, get yourself a sweet new website for 2024. And thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this channel. This whole year, I, I appreciate Squarespace so dang much. I've used them forever, but now, now they support the channel and they help make videos like this possible for you guys. Okay, into the Ace Pro as a dash cam. What does the footage look like? It looks dang good. I made a couple other videos on this camera looking at like what the image looks like, looking at what the dynamic range looks like. And in 4K 60, it is real impressive. But it's even more impressive at 4K 30 because at 4K 30 and below, you get that active HDR. So like you really see everything in the shadows, everything in the highlights, like you get so much dynamic range at 4K 30 and below. So I think I might actually switch to have this thing as a dash cam at 4K 30, even though at 4K 60, technically you would have more frames. Like for every one second, you would have 60 frames you could move through to see exactly what happened or like focus in on that license plate. So as a dash cam, the, the image quality, I think is probably gonna be much better than any dash cam you're gonna see on the market. But for like the more practicality of this, like would I leave this up in my windshield at all times? <sighs> That's like the only tough call on it is like, you know it's a $450 camera. Most dash cams are like 150 bucks. So to leave this up there, like if a thief knew what they were looking at, obviously you're leaving a $450 camera in your windshield that someone could for sure look at and be like, hey, I pop a window and I now have a $450 dash cam too. Like you could leave this in your car at all times. And the nice thing there too, is that your, your camera would always be charged. So at all times your camera would be like you driving your car around would keep the battery inside charged. So it's a dash cam like on the daily. And then when you're like, hey, now I wanna take it as my action camera, you would just pop it off and you could keep this mount in your car and then you'd always have your your like vlog action camera with you. Again, a really good setup. It just it just freaks me out having a having an action camera sitting there in my windshield at all times. I just think I don't know. I live in California. We're in San Diego, not as bad as like LA or San Francisco, but 
people still breaking cars, like that's still a thing. Oh, you know who else this doesn't work for? This doesn't work for cars whose cigarette lighters are always on. I know there's some cars that do that. My car is, if my car's turned off, like I can't continually charge something from the cigarette lighter, it has to be on to be charging. But I know that there's some cars where even when the car is off, the cigarette lighter powers the, the USB-C device. And that wouldn't work because again, how this is how this is working is that this camera is detecting when it is hooked up to USB. So as soon as I power it on, now it turns on and now now it starts recording and it's going to record in that 30 minute loop. So that's that's something to consider. If your car has a USB-C port that's always powered, look when I pull it out. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so clever, but that is super clever. If your car though is one of those cars that just has a USB-C port that's always powered on, um, this setup, it also won't work for you. All right, I wanna hear your thoughts on the Ace Pro as a dash cam. What do you think of the footage, about the use case, just having an action camera that has basically a $150 dash cam built into it, but it's a better dash cam than even the dash cams that are out there. And again, would you trust leaving your, your action camera in your car, like at all times. If you're gonna go in the store, just turn off your car and leave it there. Blah, I don't know. You tell me, comments below. I will see you soon. It would be so sweet if somehow someone came out with like an induction charging piece here, and then I could always have this. So like, I wouldn't even have to hook up a USB-C cable. I would just go like this. Blip, blip. And as soon as I did that, it powered on and started recording. Insta360, the, the Ace Pro 2, give me like induction charging right here so that I could just power my camera, charge the camera, do things like this with a, a piece here that I would plug in the USB-C port to this piece. And then I could always just be like, blip, blip, up into my windshield. And uh, this, this whole dash cam thing would be even cooler.